Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Hurt Bay 2. Yeah, playing in the background, we have uh, Benny Benick, Benack Jr. When Midnight Comes from a One of a Kind album, recent album. Yeah, I said I'd start letting y'all know what jazz is playing. But anyway, Hurt Bay 2. Y'all remember the first Hurt Bay? Right, that video, you got those, those young people on there. And, you know, dudes talking like, yeah, I cheated. And she's all sad, and it had a great hoo-ha. Shoot, they came back for more. Hurt Bay 2, right? And, I, you know, I had some takeaways from it, right? Now, check it out. Check it out. This was an interesting thing with it, right? Well, first... I was just like checking just the dude's demeanor, his demeanor and stuff. I was like, oh, yeah, we got another future Mac, <laughs> future player. <laughs> My man had his beard game going, had the waves going. Speaking of which, I didn't know waves came back. Y'all might not believe it, but when Uncle Rom was younger and the hairline was a little bit more fuller, <laughs> Rom had those waves. <laughs> <laughs> Those S girl waves, but they were still waves. <laughs> man, that was some 80s stuff, man. I, it, look, <laughs> and I know, you know a few weeks ago and stuff, there's this thing about, you know, the game changing and all of that. Man, stuff going cycles. <laughs> All these young dudes out there got those tight old waves. Yeah, my ass was wearing the back. All my old heads know. <laughs> It should be like brushing them in and whatnot, man. And <laughs> getting them going. <laughs> Stuff goes in cycles, man. Stuff goes in cycles. <laughs> I had to laugh about it, man. <laughs> but anyway, right. You know, you know, that was one takeaway I took from it because I think dude the first time was, you know, he was just on there, but you know, as he stated in the Hurt Bay 2 video, you know, everybody looking at him like a villain. But I could tell something changed in him. Something changed in him. He was like just sharper. I think he grew as a man or something. Because, you know, people coming at him and stuff and they looking at him like he's the villain and everything. But there's always two sides to a story. But whatever the case for him is actually good because it was like, you know what, what doesn't kill you make you stronger. And I can just tell how he's, like, carrying himself. Now, I know some women were trying to get with him and everything. Probably still are and stuff. And then when dude actually fills out, <laughs> shit, he ain't going to get no peace. But it's interesting what he said during the thing because dude, dude was just raw. He said, yeah, they had did it to get more exposure. And it was interesting she denied that, you know. She denied that. And I had to call bullshit on that, right? Because when if you watch the video, and I got the link in the description box, the first thing she said was she gained more of a social following and was helpful for her career. Yet when he come up and point this out, you know, she's like, oh, no, you know, I really loved you and everything. And, I, you know, that's the thing in those situations, you never see the whole thing. You never see the whole picture. We still don't see the whole picture. All we're seeing is one minute, what they're telling us, what they might tell in an interview. But dude was just raw about it. He was like, look, we, we did it to be get on. We did it for exposure. You know? And I was just like, yeah, he's, he's just being more honest. He, he's being raw. He's being straightforward. I mean, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to call her on it. I don't think she, you know, you can't go up and say, well, yeah, I gained a more social media following. Well, she, she said a bigger following and it's been helpful for a career. But then try to deny it when he said, no, we, you know, we did it to get on. You know, we did it for exposure. You know, that was some stuff. And then later on, um, he's talking about, well, I was in a relationship the first time. And she acting surprised and whatnot, you know. And she was like, well, I didn't tell you. Well, you, no, she was like, he didn't tell. He said, you didn't tell me. He was like, I, it wasn't your business. That's what I was saying. And I was just like, wow. 
Wow. Wow. And then, you know, they ended it with, you know, I hope never to see you again and all of that. They was, I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> Expect her at Bay 3 in a year. <laughs> you know what it did? You know, come on now. Come on. Look. Even bigger, even bigger than just what they're doing. You know, if you're going to air out something like that on social media, right? It's like these, it's like these reality shows that really ain't reality shows. You know, yeah, they don't have like a script. They don't have a script, and but they are directed and act a certain way. Or and then some of the shows will have, uh, you know, they might have uh, directors uh, or some people just to get some specific people because they're going to act a certain way. Whatever the case. You have to know there's going to be some type of repercussion, positive or negative, if you go on any type of social media. I mean, despite how cool I might act here on here, there's a lot of stuff I don't show. There's a lot of stuff I don't talk about. And there's actually a, a lot of stuff like people wouldn't get. But the fact of the matter is I have to be conscious of that or anybody on social media because it's on there. It's going to have an effect on you, you know. You know, my main thing is marketing my stuff, right? That's my main thing. But I'm I, the reality is if I go on, like, some social media and have a conversation with a woman and say I did this or that, I got to expect a repercussion, you know? And then uh, one thing he talked about was how she was trying to play the victim on there, right? Which I call bullshit to because what's the first thing she said? Like, y'all can watch the video yourselves, Y'all watch it yourselves. What she say? Oh, I gained a career. You know, it was good for my social following and my career. You know? And then, you know, you could kind of tell. Then, you know, he called out and said, yeah, you still wanted to get with me. <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, I, yeah, I, honestly, I, I wouldn't know. That's up to them. I can't tell anything. I could, ju I could just tell there was just more... To how she was feeling about something. He he controlled his emotion a little bit better, way better. There was one part. I now I should have wrote that part down though. He kind of flickered a bit, just a bit, because I think he has still some type of interest in her too. But whatever the case. Yeah, I remember doing uh, doing that thing, and you know you're gonna get exposure and stuff. Everybody going, you know, they looking for some come up, somebody to put them on there keep their uh, names in there because that's the one thing with social media now that's the one thing people going to try whatever a lot of people you get some people on there who just want to give information marketing and stuff like that but then a lot of people you know they're going hey they're going to be look good all that stuff have a little bit of drama in fact i wouldn't be surprised that some of it was staged i really wouldn't be i don't know for sure I really don't. They might be cool as hell. They ain't shit. They probably hooked up right afterwards or something. I don't know. I don't know. But it, it's still an interesting dynamic. You know, it really is. Now, if we're going to take him at face value, like I said, I could tell he's, at least he's grown. It's just his energy and all of that. You know, got his waves. Yeah, y'all, for all y'all young people thinking this some new ass shit. Nah, it's not. <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah, get get a picture of your uncles and fathers and stuff from back in the day. <laughs> Shoot, <laughs> like I said, Rob Rob could work that S curl. <laughs> and shoot, and really that even goes back even further. But that's a whole other conversation, right? But um, yeah, check out the video for those who are interested in that thing. Cause like I said, I did a video on it years ago. Um, years ago. Um, on this channel earlier, maybe a year ago, when it first came out, a couple people did, and I think it's just one of the things though. In listening, listen to everything they say and watch their body language and everything. You know, I've done some recent videos on body language and all of that. Uh, pay attention to it, because they still, you know, we still not getting the story. We really don't, but they getting what they want because you know. Uncle Rom did a, a video on him, and everybody else is doing a video. <laughs> so whatever following they had, it's probably going to get bigger. Anyway, I just wanted to cover that. You know, I don't have to talk about, uh, I don't want to be to the point where I'm telling men how to get women or women how to, like, stop 
messing with knuckleheads and stuff all the time. Got other stuff I like talking about. Should should start talking about sports. I might do. Might talk about. Might watch uh, upcoming March Madness and stuff. Cause unless men, yeah, my team got very little chance of being in it. You know, they just too many injuries this year. But it is what it is. Anyway, I'll get back with you. Talk to you later. Peace and blessings.